Can a woman who has left the workforce for a significant amount of time to raise children make a successful re-entry? Yes, mothers can make it back, says our next guest, but it can be a daunting climb. Here with some advice is Cheryl Cassoni, Fox Business Network anchor and reporter with her new book, The Comeback, How Today's Moms Re-Enter the Workplace Successfully. Welcome, Cheryl. So great to have you oh, here. Oh, it's great to be here as well. What inspired you to write this book? Did you have lots of friends and colleagues struggling with the issue of coming back to work? I did. In fact, the story is, is that I was doing these hiring segments for, for Fox News, Fox and Friends in particular, and they were really resonating with our viewers. People were, you know, really concerned about trying to get into the workforce, and my segments were starting to help them. Elizabeth Hasselbeck, who I used to work with at Fox News, said to me one day, she said, Cheryl, I don't, I don't understand. I've got all these amazing women um, that I'm friends with um, where I live, and, and they want to get back into the workforce. They took a break for kids, and they can't get back in. What's happening? And at the same time, I was speaking with a public publisher about doing a book on another topic related to jobs, and it just kind of gelled that this was the right topic. And as a journalist, you know, to, to find a great story to tell is what you want absolutely. at the end of the day. And absolutely. Well, it's such a useful book. I mean, myself as a mom who I only left the workforce for my mandated maternity leave. You know, I never had the extended time off. But I think you make an interesting point, which is that a lot of women don't know how motherhood will affect them. It can either make them want to leave work altogether or make them want to run back screaming, yeah. right? <laughs> and I have, I have both stories in the book. Right. I will tell you that. The, on, a, on a lighter note, you know, I had one mom that she was sitting at the playground and her son Tyler was four and she was listening to the other moms having this, these conversations and it just hit her like a ton of bricks. She said, I can't do this anymore. I, I have to, to go back. back to work. Yeah. And she wanted her own identity. She said, right. I don't want to be Tyler's mom. There were other women that didn't plan to go back to work, but life you know, circumstances forced them to, whether it was divorce, whether it was the death of a spouse, and a lot of them it was financial hardship. You know, as you know, being a business journalist like I am, rent is going up, housing is going up, and healthcare costs are going up. And people more and more, men and women, are finding themselves having to go back when they really didn't mean to and want to. Absolutely. So. And knowing this now then, Cheryl, what's the biggest piece of advice you would give a woman who finds herself at work, pregnant for the first time, and not sure what she's going to do, what would you tell her to do just to sort of, you know, better be safe than sorry, right? Well, first off, go on the assumption that you're going to come back right. to work because you don't know. Right. And that means connecting with the people in the office or at your company where you feel like you have a good relationship with them, get personal emails, get addresses, send out that birth announcement. Mm -hmm. um, even if you don't think you're going to go back, you don't know. So you want to keep those connections and also social media. One of the moms who actually used to be a television producer that I used to work with years ago, um, use social media to stay connected for four years while she was at home with her two kids, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. She would like things. She would share things. She would put up pictures. And she kept all of her connections uh, through social media. And then she, when she started her own public relations firm, boom. So she had important. everybody lined up and ready to work with her. It's important to keep those connections sort of a little bit more professional than all about, hey, those are my kids eating ice cream. I think it's a balance. Yeah. I certainly think that if you are going to come back to work, you do want to kind of leave. One of the moms said I had to leave mommy talk at home. Yeah. I realized if I was in a boardroom, I couldn't say, well, I have to go take a potty break. Right. That made me laugh. But that's but actually she, really yeah. good advice because I think when you're in the position of interviewing to get back in, a lot of women are confused. Should I mention the fact that I'm a mom? Should I leave out my kids altogether? Because well, legally, can an employer ask? They can't ask about it, right? No, it's not. I mean, I've interviewed uh, some HR professionals mm -hmm. as well to kind of get a sense of what they were looking at or not when it came to interviewing in particular moms. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, most of the time when someone's sitting in the interview chair, things come out. Right. And you can just kind of tell and see and you know. No. Is it supposed to be a topic of conversation? Should it be? No. no. Um, the thing about the, the mom, though, if you're sitting in the mom chair, is, okay, you need to ask the right questions during that interview process to make sure that they're a right fit for you. Right. A lot of the moms told me they thought they were doing a, they were getting like this big break, and thank you so much for hiring me. Then when they went back to work, they realized, wait a minute, I'm working really hard. I mean, I'm killing myself for this company. They're lucky to have me, right. and maybe they should pay me more right. once they got back into their, their jobs. It was right. really fascinating to it hear their stories. Such, it's such good information from these stories. You also point out that there can be a trap to working part-time that a lot of mothers have found. A lot of the moms found that part-time was not part-time. Part-time was full-time. Right, and they were just getting paid for part-time. You're getting paid for part-time, and you're working full-time, and you really have to know what those boundaries are going in. And the hard part is for a lot of the moms, they would say, in fact, all of them said to me, I felt insecure. 
You know, if I took a break and I went back to the workforce, I felt insecure. You got to get over that because, again, they are not doing you a favor. You're doing them a favor. And make sure that if it is going to be part time, that those boundaries are clear before you get in the door. Because you know what, companies, if they can abuse you a little bit, they will. They will. Push. So yeah. what do you what advice do you have, though, for the woman who has missed out on all the technological advances of her career while she's home with her kids? Is there a way to catch up or should she change her focus to another part of her career? It depends. A couple of the women that I spoke with, um, they, they were um, in the engineering field. They actually had to go back and take online coursework because their field had changed so rapidly while they were at home. Mm -hmm. Those are specific cases, though. Overall, you can kind of catch up on technology doing generic online coursework. And I'm talking community college courses if it's a basic level of technology. But really, at this point, I think getting involved in volunteer work and things that where you're actually communicating with, whether it's your church or your children's school, they're up to speed on technology. That's another way that you can actually get some resume skills and get caught up on technology in general, whether it's Microsoft Office or it's Google Calendar or whatever the program is you think that you might be interacting with. Absolutely. Cheryl Hassoni, thank you so much for all this great advice for women everywhere who are either mothers or thinking of becoming mothers or thinking of coming back to work. Really great book. Thank you so much. Thank you.